Hello everybody, Rob Dyke here. Now if you live on planet Earth, you're probably going to encounter a woman, or a series of different women throughout the course of your life, that want to show you something very near and dear to their hearts. Baby pictures. Now let me be just flat out honest with you, I couldn't give a crap less about looking at pictures of your baby. It is awkward for a person like me to admire a child. I can't just go to the playground, sit there and just watch and bask in the playful spirit of your children. I, I can't do things like that. A guy like me cannot approach a mother in the supermarket, point at her infant child and go, oh my god, look how beautiful your baby is. You know why I don't want to look at your baby pictures? Because I'm a big guy with a beard. And that just doesn't mix with babies. Babies aren't even fun to look at. They all look exactly the same. I'd rather look at a freaking Rubik's Cube because at least you can pick those up and, and switch around the parts and everything like that. You pick up a baby and start switching around its parts, oh, you get arrested. Then there are mothers out there that are like, oh, my baby's a riot, you have to see him, he's just so unique. No, he's not. Babies have absolutely no personality. They are like the lame guy at a bar on a Monday night who just sits there and consumes everything until he eventually starts crying, nobody can calm him down, and then eventually barfs all over the bar, shits himself, and heads home. That is literally all babies do. They just sit there, cry, shit, and eat. And then when they're done, they barf all over the place. Not to mention their barf looks like bird shit, so that's kind of confusing too. Then you got chicks who like force you to look at the baby pictures. You can't, you can't say no, you can't avoid them because they Snapchat it to you. I, I don't want that on my phone. And I know Snapchat, oh, it automatically deletes everything, but it's still there. Like, why are you forcing your baby pictures on me? Like naked baby pictures. You know, th there are plenty of people I'm sure that would pay to see those, but I'm not one of them. So please don't, don't send me your baby pictures. I don't care. Whenever a chick shows me a baby picture, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I just sit there and the only logical thing that comes to my mind is, uh, uh, how old is it? And I say it because I can't tell the gender because they, they're babies. They don't look like either one. You can't freaking tell. And then you got those crazy feminist moms who dress them in like some kind of unisex color that you can't tell because they don't want to establish gender roles too early on in their development. So you ask how old the thing is and the mother has this real cheeky response, you know, she goes, oh, he's 24 months. Okay, so your kid's two? You know 12 months equals a year, right? Why is it like after these women have babies, they all of a sudden can't judge time anymore? They can't measure time. Everything is just measured in months. Oh, I have not seen that movie in many months. And if it wasn't bad enough that all babies look the same, all the baby pictures look the same. It's all a baby wrapped in like a blanket sitting somewhere. The baby's not gonna be doing anything cool. The baby's not gonna be hang gliding. The baby's not gonna be sword fighting a rhino on the Serengeti, okay? Which would be awesome, but they, they you're not going to see that. The babies just sit. They just sit and they're always wrapped up like they're preparing for the next ice age. And that to me just isn't interesting. The baby's a freaking baby. It can't do anything cool. Nothing. Really, it doesn't. They don't. What's even worse than that is when women want you to hold their baby. You know what I mean? Like it just spilled from their loins like two days ago and they're like passing it to you. Yeah, sure. I'll hold your baby. You know, I mean, I drop things every now and then because I'm a friggin' clumsy ass. Yeah, sure. No, let me hold your baby. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, and, and if I drop it, <laughs> what? I ruined your entire life. Uh, you, your family will tell stories of me for centuries to come and my thoughtless and carelessness. I, wh sure. Why not hold your freaking baby. Go ahead and take pictures of your damn kid because I guarantee if there was a lineup of 40 different babies and yours was in there, you probably wouldn't be able to pick it out. Weird little crying poop barf machines. That's all they are. So that's it. If you agree with me, make sure to thumbs up and favorite the video. And if you have no sense of humor, feel free to bitch about it in the comments. And if you're new around here, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Peace out.